Hey guys, Paul here with Patek. Half cage, full cage. I'm going to help you with that decision in this video. Let's jump in, we'll take a look. Okay guys, A74, half cage, a couple of simple tools. Let's get to it. So, very straightforward actually. What we're going to do is put the uh, cage in like so gonna flip it over I'm using a screwdriver for just to make it a little quicker for you but you've got this nice little tool here you can use and then what you need to do is take your little uh, Allen head screw whoops and that screw normally resides in this tiny little hole here for safekeeping until you place it in uh, this hole here and thread it in place. Once you got it in place, you've got yourself a nice little half cage. Now, the beauty of the half cage is it's a little bit lighter weight than the full cage, pretty obvious there. You got a cold shoe, got a slot for your strap, you've got some quarter 20, 3, 8, 16 mounting holes up top here. If you want to put your Ninja 5 up here with a little uh, swivel mount, you can do that. So, you have a NATO rail on the side of the half cage with some more quarter 20 fittings here. And so here's the reason or what precipitated this video. I'm going to mount my handle on the side of the cage here, like so. Like so. Okay, that's great. Now you can see I've got the small NATO rail on top of the handle and the reason for that is to be able to put my Ninja 5 uh, on the top here. And what might not be so obvious is that I've moved the Ninja 5 all the way to the left just to give myself a little bit more space. Now I can open up the HDMI window here. Typically I come around through the back of the handle. Put it in like this. That's great. So now, you know, I can shoot my video. I can see what I'm looking at. And I've got my Rode Wireless Go mounted on top. It goes into the side of the Ninja 5. That's great. The issue is you have two options for mounting your radio trigger. So the whole idea of this rig is to allow me to make tutorial videos to teach people how to do high speed sync or how to use your flash off camera, um, that type of stuff. And so the X2T fits on top just fine. And so does the Godox S Pro or X Pro fits on like so. That's the reason for that kind of drove me to this uh, to do this video. So this is the half cage and this is the way I rig it out. This is going to be sitting on a tripod, obviously, when I'm doing these videos. So now let's take a look at the uh, full cage. OK, folks, so here we go. A74 small rig full cage. And as you can see with the full uh, cage here, I've got the low profile NATO rail. There's a good look at that for you. I've got an extra cold shoe here. I got my Peak Design camera strap uh, mounts um, on the left side of the full cage. You get the same NATO rail built in with the quarter 20 fittings, same adapter. Um, on the bottom, you've got Arca Swiss mount here. You get, you get the same tool or a similar tool. And then also on the bottom of the cage, you have the gate there so you can get your battery door open. And then on the right side, this is where the magic happens folks it's the molding of this side of the cage so you're getting these extra fittings here if you want to mount a handle or what have you but this is what makes the full cage so much more nicer than the half cage so with no further ado let's get this beast mounted up here same as before use our screwdriver to snug this in place Okay, take our Allen key, come around to the side, pop that in there, just twist that in place, like so. I'm going to open the battery or the HDMI port here. Um, so, next thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> and you need to do this on the full cage, 
and that is you can't mount the HDMI uh, cable uh, fixture here and still fit this guy uh, up close to it. So what I've done is I mount the top bolt of my handle like so. And then I turn the handle till about, I don't know, 10 or 11 o'clock like this. And I'm just going to leave it loose for the moment. So now I'm going to grab my HDMI clamp. I got to open the door first. Bring my clamp over here like so. Just snug that down like that. And now I can turn this oh, a little more. There we go. Just give that a snug up. And now I can bring over my Ninja 5, mount that. I'm pushing it all the way to the extreme left. And I just move this out of the way so you can see this. I take the lever and push it over to lock it in place. Now I can move this back. Now I can bring my HDMI cable here and just run it through the fitting here. Push that in place. Now I can tighten up my HDMI clamp and voila. So now the problem becomes, remember I pushed the Ninja 5 all the way to the left. Here's the X2T. It bumps into the Ninja 5 with this cage. So the fix is to use the X Pro. Pop that in. Now I can bring my Ninja 5 in place and it doesn't interfere uh, with the X Pro. So if you're planning to do tutorials like I'm doing, you may strongly want to consider, well, I would say go with the full cage no matter what you do because you know you've you've got more mounting options. You've got the cold shoe on this side, you can you've got the place to mount an extra cold shoe over here. I can't use a handle up up top here because it's it just interferes with the whole top of the camera. But this is where on this side here it just this is just an orgasm to actually hold because Sony cameras have never been uh, known for their ergonomic feel and this is just a game changer. This makes the camera feel so good in the hand. I highly recommend it. Okay guys, so here you have it for $55 in real money <laughs> as compared to $31 for the half cage. So the full cage is $55 US. The half cage is about $31 right now. Uh, Amazon's got them on sale for like 10 or 15% off. But uh, in my humble opinion, this is the way to go, especially if you plan on doing the same kind of thing I'm doing where you need to have your radio trigger mounted on top. You need to have a monitor there so you can see what you're doing or you can do your recordings. Um, this is the way to go. And I mean, I also have the handle that goes on the top of this thing here, but like I said earlier, you know, you try to put a handle on here and you can forget putting a trigger on, then the only other option you have is running um, an adapter cable from here somewhere else. It's just not practical. So I think this is the best setup if you're going to be recording um, you know, photography, videos, uh, or, or tutorials, something like that. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. I hope you found it beneficial. I'll leave it up to you whether you buy the half cage or the full cage, or maybe you're going to get both of them like I did. Um, I doubt I'll get a lot of use out of the half cage now, to be perfectly honest with you. But uh, if you found the video useful, hit the subscribe and like buttons for me and smack that notification bell. I appreciate it. I'll put links in the video to all the stuff that I've shown here. Pretty straightforward, though. It's no cost to you. It helps me a little bit. Thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.